Welcome to the Developer Diaries, I'm Jackie Padilla. Today we're catching up with Mark DeSimone. He is CEO of MotoGP Championship Quest. He makes sure every aspect of the game is accurate and tells me why attention to even the smallest of details really counts. Take a look. Well, we wanted to make the game um, very true to the sport because we want to make the game for the fans of the of the sport. We love the sport. So it's if anybody hasn't watched it, they should watch it. It's the most fantastic motor racing that there is. If you're going to do this at all, then you've it, it, there's no point if you're not focused on quality. The first thing we had to do is get the. Um, the way the bikes perform very close to the way the bikes perform in real life. By logging every frame of every video of the race, um, we could then reverse engineer what the bikes were doing, what the gear ratios are, um, what performance the engines have, how hard they can brake and so on. So we could match the performance of the bikes to what actually happens in real life. And then once we had that, then we could match the behavior of the riders so that they perform braking at just the right time, accelerating at the right time to get the AI racers to perform like the real riders. So actually if you compare a, a graphs of um, the AI racers against Marc Marquez, they're, they're within fractions of a second on completing a lap. Mobile games very different experience in that you play it, you might be playing it on the bus, you might be playing it while you're waiting to meet somebody, you're at a coffee shop, whatever, and you play it for a while and then you put it away. If you pick up a motorcycle game on mobile and you can't keep the bike on the track, you very soon disengage with it. Um, what we wanted to do with this game by taking steering away and getting the player to focus on the, the timing of braking and accelerating um, is keep the player engaged in the race, there, to, to feel that they're actually in, in a MotoGP race. Um, we felt that other, uh, other high-speed motorcycle games that we've played don't have that. You, you don't feel engaged in the race because you've got too much of a learning curve to get you to where you can actually get around the track even. So taking steering away um, both eliminated that problem but also um, allowed us to really focus on what's really important in winning a MotoGP race, which is precision timing on, on when's the perfect moment to brake, when's the perfect moment to accelerate. Um, and those minute changes in time are what uh, make the difference uh, between Rossi and Marquez. So in a race, the, the races are won and lost by fractions of a second in uh, braking late into a corner or braking too early or accelerating late or early. Those, those are the things that win races um, or lose races. Uh, so we wanted to focus the game around um, those experiences rather than make it a game where you're trying to stay on the track, which is what happens a lot of the time. You don't really get the experience of racing in MotoGP, which is what we were trying to do. It's all so extreme. They're coming into a corner at 350 kilometers an hour and then slamming the brakes on and dropping to 64 degrees and then flipping over again to the other side. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's amazing that the physics works in the real world, let alone in a video game. You know, that the, the tires, that they're riding on a tiny little patch of rubber. And uh, it's just, it blows me away. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Again, I'm Jackie Badia, and if you want more behind the scenes footage, be sure to check out more of our developer diaries. Until then, keep racing with MotoGP Championship Quest.